2022 grade 11 format math contest questions 1 through 11. Question number one, the value of 6 plus 3 times 6 minus 12. So we've got to do the brackets first. So that would be 18. And then this would be 6 plus 18, which is 24, minus 12, which is 12. So that's C for number one. The average of two numbers is 7. One of the numbers is 5. The other number is. So I'll call the other number x, and they're saying that the average of that and 5 is 7. So this is the equation. Let's solve this. 5 plus x is 14, and therefore x is equal to 9, and therefore e is the answer. Gauravi walks every day. On Monday, she walks 500 meters. On each day that follows, she increases her distance by 500 from the previous day. And what day of the week does she walk exactly 4.5 kilometers? So let's make a little Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And she starts off what day here? Monday, right? So 0.5 kilometers. And then 1, 1 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5. 4, 4.5. And this is the day that they want, and that looks like a Tuesday to me. So that's C for number 3. What is the largest number of squares with side length 2 that can be arranged without overlapping inside a square of side length 8? So a square of side length 8, let's say this is 8, that area is 8 times 8, which is 64. So 64 has got to be the total area. Now, a square of side length 2, that would have an area of 2 by 2, which is 4. So the, basically what they're asking is how many of these fit into that? So 64 divided by 4 is the answer, and that is 16. So number 4, the answer is C. One integer selected at random from the following list of 15 integers. The probability that the selected in integer is equal to n is 1 over 3. What is the value of n? Okay, so probability is always our specific condition, specific condition over the total. Now, the total in this case is 15. So there we go. And we want this um, uh, specific condition, obviously, to be 5 because they told me that the probability is 1 third and that's what 5 over 15 is in lowest terms. Okay, so which number do I need to select for this to be a 5? Well, which number are there 5 of? And the answer is the number 5. So number 5, the answer is E. In the diagram, the points PQR form a triangle. What is the area? All right, shouldn't be that hard. So we'll do one half base times height and one half base. So we'll use this as the base. So that looks like uh, it's going from two to six, so that's four. And then we'll use this as the height and it's going from two to eight, so that's six. And there you go. So that's gonna be 12 and therefore Number six, the answer is D. The expression is equal to, so we've got one plus two plus three, and we have one plus a half plus a third. Okay, well that's six, and this, I guess if we get a common denominator, we'll get six plus three plus two, and this looks like, it's 11, and therefore, number 7, the answer is B. If 10x plus y is 75, 10y plus x is 57, for some positive integers x and y, the value of x plus y is. So we got 10x plus y is 75, and 10y plus x is 57. Well, let's add them. So that will give me 11x plus 11y is uh, 132, factor out the 11, we get x plus y, 
and then divide both sides by 11 and we'll get 132 over 11 and 132 over 11 I believe is 12 yeah so x plus y which is what they asked is 12 and therefore number 8 the answer is 8 it takes pearl seven days to dig four holes it takes Miguel seven, three days to dig two holes if they work together and each continues digging at these same rates how many holes in total will they dig in 21 days all right so seven days for four holes um wait hold on uh yeah that's correct basically we're just doing a ratio here for pearl seven in seven days she digs four holes so in 21 days she would dig x amount of holes and that's how we what we have to figure out so cross multiply 7x is 4 times 21 so this looks like x is 4 times, that should be a 1, uh, 4 times 3, and that is 12. Okay, so in 21 days, Pearl can dig uh, 12 holes. And then let's do the exact same thing for Miguel. For Miguel, it's this time 3 and 2, that's the ratio. And then we're going to try to figure out for 21 days. And we're going to use y here. So that means we have 3y is equal to 2 times 21. And therefore, y is equal to 2 times 7, which is 14. So in 21 days, Pearl can dig 12 holes. And in 21 days, Miguel can dig 14. So they're saying together, how many can they dig? Well, 12 and 14 together, 12 plus 14 is 26. So together, they can dig 26 holes. So number 9, the answer is D. If 2 to the power of 11 times 6 to the power of 5 is 4 to the power of x times 3 to the power of y, what is x plus y? Okay. So 2 to the power of 11 and 6 to the power of 5 is 4 to the power of x times 3 to the power of y. So obviously we've got to get everything in the same bases. So this will be, hmm, well let's just leave that for now. I'm going to split up 6 into 2 times 3 like that. And that allows me to break this up into 2 to the power of 5, 3 to the power of 5. Okay? So that means if you combine these, it will be 2 to the power of 16, 3 to the power of 5. And then I've got that base, so that's covered. But I need a 4, so I'm going to have to do 2 to the power of 2. And then that will be 8, right? Yeah. And then therefore, this looks to me like 4 to the power of 8, 3 to the power of 5. And that was equivalent to 4 to the power of x, 3 to the power of y. So therefore, matching up exponents, x is equal to 8, y is equal to 5, and therefore x plus y is 8 plus 5, which is 13. Therefore, the answer is D.